So, definitely no parents busting in on us today. No parents are busting in us. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Tell me more about this uh, best babysitting job in the world then. Yeah, it was freaky. She booked me to do another shift. Well, that's great. No, it's not. It was weird. Why is it weird? I mean, it was weird, like it was crazy, Mark. I never saw the kid. So what was you babysitting? <laughs> I don't even know. And when I asked her anything about her, she was really full on about the rules of the house. There were monitors everywhere. Okay, so let me get this straight. So there's monitors in the house and you don't see the kid. Doesn't sound like a babysitting job to me. I just heard it through the monitors. I never saw it. Heard what? I don't know, the kid. <laughs> the kid doing what? I don't, just making noises, I don't know. That's what I mean, it was weird, it's not funny, it was kind of creepy. Did it sound like a old man heavy breathing? <laughs> like, oh yes. <laughs> I'm not sure actually. Oh dear, how do you get yourself in these ridiculous situations, seriously? How have you even survived this long? <laughs> that is a very good question, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, don't make me go back there, please. <sighs> You said your parents were coming back today. <laughs> they are. It's probably a neighbour. Stay here. Dude, come on. The last time your dad caught us shit like this, down. I thought he was going to kill me. Calm yourself. Calm down. Grab me a bottle of wine, please, and not the expensive stuff. Just get the cheap stuff. What's this? Oh. <laughs> that is not funny. Well, I thought it was hilarious. Someone left this. Hmm, creepy fucker.
You know, that literally looks like you as a doll. How funny. <laughs> I hate you. Oh, he's even got, you got a bit, a bit of a scar there, haven't you? <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Have you heard of the legend of Mandy the doll? Mandy the doll? Oh, isn't that, like, about that girl who she got left in a church or something and some bullies killed her? Is that right? No, she wasn't killed by the bullies. She was left there and she froze to death. And her soul went into the doll that she was clutching onto. Have you heard of it? The doll? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> come on. Well, and you'd think this is the same doll. Yeah. How do you know it's the same one? Look at this, it's exactly the same part. There, look at that. Okay, so when was the doll last seen? Like 10 years ago, a pregnant lady at a car boot sale bought it. It's been 10 years. And I'm really freaking out because the lady that I was babysitting for, she had loads of dolls, heaps of them. Some people have dolls. Yeah, but she cracked it at me when I left, so what if she sent me this? Look, you're just letting your imagination run wild, okay? It's just the guys trying to fuck I'm us. not, I'm, it's not. Think about it, it makes sense. She had creepy dolls in the house. I never saw the kid. She cracked it when I left, and now this turns up on our doorstep. Oh my God, I'm telling you, this is literally just a practical joke, okay? Just chill out, like, come on. Oh yeah, it looks so bad, don't it? Ooh, scary. It's just a doll, okay? You're being ridiculous. Stop being ridiculous. I said to stop calling me. Look, I don't want to babysit for you anymore. Stop calling me. If you don't stop, then I'll call the police. This isn't funny. 
you're trying to freak me out, you can seriously stay somewhere else this weekend. Mark? Oh, this tastes amazing. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> In a while, huh? <laughs> Do we have any more? I don't think she's something when we get back to the hideout. Hideout? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's complicated. I mean, it's not been easy prepping for today. How long have you guys been back together? Don't be like that. I mean, he still likes to drink. He's got clean. We're getting there. I just care about you. It won't be like before. 
I don't want things to go back to the way they were. I want this to be the start of a new life. Everything's changed. Okay. What's that face for? What are you thinking? But to get that new start, we just need to do something first. set me up on a job that would send me straight back in. Come on. Hey, well, come on, it's not a hard job. You know what I mean? Connie's done it before. I'm sorry, when you go in there, you don't even have to do anything. I'm Bob. Listen to me very carefully. You we'll say you're with a babysitting job. Go up in there, like your little Miss Perfect. As soon as the house is free, you call us. We do the work. Fuck's sake, I'm Bob. Think about it. So you gotta do shit. And what about the kid? You just call the parents, you tell them something came up, and then you get out of there. It's nothing. Oh, hey. We stole all your belongings. Kid's fine. Catch you later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Fuck you! Seriously, can you just give us a minute? Remember, fresh start, new beginnings. I should have known that you were full of shit. Look, this is gonna be a new start for us, for all three of us. Look, when we found out you were coming out, we gave up everything to start again. <gasps> We've paid up all the dealers, the lenders. I mean, Millie's even sold his PMR 30. So? What are you saying? Boo hoo, Neil sold his gun. I'm saying. I went to jail! I'm saying we're broke. Yeah, you went to jail. None of us wanted that. I wished every day that things had ended differently. Look, you're out now. You're in the clear. Everything's paid off. Come on. You just do this one final job for fast, unmarked cash, then we can go wherever the hell you want. What's the worst that could happen, huh? Look, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. We rob some rich fucking family and then Neil's contact comes in and buys it all off us. We get unmarked cash, Amber. We get 50% dollars, 50% euros. We get three new passports. We can go wherever we want. You always wanted to go to Italy. We could go there. Come on, please. Fine. for us to take control of our lives. We can't change our past, but we can change our future. I want to give you the life you deserve. The life mom should have given you. You know, I don't blame you for anything that happened. None of it was your fault. Whoever our mom was, she wasn't a mother to me. You were. You made me the person I am today. You're right. Maybe it is time <laughs> we take control. <laughs> Yo, yo, yo! Rise and shine. We have a target. Time to suit up. All right, so check it out. Some lady, single parent, I think. Nice size house. 
wants you to look after her kid. <laughs> Anyways, it is perfect. Quiet, little dusty here and there, bit of clutter, but trust me, hell of a lot of shit to sell. This is for you. It's got enough credit to last you tonight. Remember to dash away the phones after. Amber, don't we try to hold on to this shit after tonight? I can't have him having any way of tracking his back to us. Make sure you call us an hour after she leaves. And we're done by midnight. What the fuck? Am I talking to myself here? She heard you. Is that right? I heard you. Good. Oh. Your profile says Jesse. So I'll use that name unless you want to risk getting thrown back inside. All right, it's about that time. Let's do this. Dorothy O'Brien, okay? She lives alone and she's got one child. Mm, what kind of stuff do you want me to look for? Alright, you just leave that to us. You just go in there and we'll do the rest. You ready? Let's cut this all off. Let's go! Hello? Hello. You must be Jessie. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have just walked into your house like that. I'm assuming it was you who let me in. Oh, that will be Mandy. Just after I've settled her to sleep, you go in the dining room and I'll go up and check on Mandy. I'll be right back. a little list for you of house rules so we can get the best of Mandy's moods. The attic is completely off limits. That's Mandy's play area. Um, 
she absolutely hates being left alone. So you're not to leave the house under any circumstances. You don't go in the garden, you don't answer the door, you don't have a cigarette. Of course, I, I won't. You see, Mandy tends to cry a lot. And if Mandy is to waken, there's no getting her back to sleep. I've provided a monitor for you so you can hear everything that's happening in the room. I've also provided this visual monitor which registers any movement in the room. <laughs> After all, we don't want Mandy out of bed running around, do we? Or anyone else in the room. She tends to sleep quite well at night and as I've managed to get her off to sleep, she should be fine for the night. If there is any problem, you are to call me immediately. You see, if Mandy were to wake, she is to cry. If she is to cry, I shall have to return home. There is no stopping her once Mandy starts to cry. Do you understand? Sure, I got it. Um, don't go in her room and if she's to wake or cry to give you a call. You make it sound so much simpler than it truly is. <laughs> She's just a kid, right? She is a special girl. Anyway, must go. Tonight, where are you going? A gathering. Uh, I shouldn't be home much after midnight, I shouldn't think. Time to go. Just checking. Mandy, she does know I'm here, right? Of course she knows. She knows all about you, Jessie. How old is she? Hmm. I thought it was rather rude to ask a woman's age. <laughs> oh, right. You have my number on the information sheet. I shall have my phone by my side all evening. Don't hesitate to call if necessary. Of course. Uh, have a nice night, Miss O'Brien. See you soon.
Hey babe, what I say about trying to play fucking toes up my ass? What? What are you talking about? What? Oh, fuck off, I didn't say shit. Why is fucking Amber ringing us? Amber? The child, the child's gone. Someone was, someone's been in the house. Carly, fuck. Amber, calm down, calm down. What do you mean she's gone? I heard a voice, a lady's voice on the monitor. Someone must have sneaked in when I was asleep and taken her. Carly, fuck, I'm gonna have to call Mr. Brian. Carly, fuck! Okay, right, wait, call her straight away. We'll be there in 20 minutes. What the fuck's going on? It's gone. So Ryan, um, uh, I think he needs to come home. It's um, what oh my God, it, it's Mandy. I I think that someone must have taken her. Um, I'm so so sorry, Miss O'Brien. Yeah, yeah, she's she's not in her bed. All that's in her bed is just this 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 doll. Strawberry, blonde, hair, white dress. Um, she's the girl in the photo with you by the side of her bed? Mandy, yes, that's her. That's my Mandy. Yes. Yes. Miss O'Brien, I see the photo. I see Mandy. She's in the bed and, and she's sleeping. Um... I'm so sorry, Miss O'Brien. I'm I'm I messed up. Have a great night. Call me if you need me. And try not to scare me half to death again,
the child. It's not a child. Oh my god, this is creepy. Check out the photo. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? <laughs> you taking the piss? This crazy bitch ain't gonna realize none of her shit's missing. This is perfect. I mean, this is something else. Something else? <laughs> Babe, this is fucking incredible. <laughs> Let's do this, honestly. Come on, we never had this perfect before. Let's just get what we need and get out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we gotta whip it down a little. Diana. Oh, she's the contact from the network. She's the one who's gonna buy all this shit. Are you serious? What time is she coming? Miss O'Brien said she was gonna be back by midnight. It's already like nine. All right, chill with that shit, all right? She'll be here before then, okay? She's gonna keep me updated. Listen, let us go and investigate the shit out of this place. <laughs> Get a drink. Did you guys hear that? Mm -hmm. no. How do I look? Fucking hot. much time inside. I'm going crazy. Who is that? I wanna play a game. Will you play with me? Who is that? You know who it is. Hello? Mandy? Take this shit downstairs for Diane. I'm gonna go check out the attic.
there. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. Seriously, why are you freaking out? This couldn't be any easier. We're gonna be fine. I heard a... Uh, what are you talking about? Mandy. She's alive. <laughs> Do you mean Mandy's alive? I heard her. I heard her earlier. I, I spoke to her just now. Stop freaking out. The first time I did this, I was freaking out too, but can't you see how silly you're being? Where's Neil? He's upstairs in the attic. Neil! Seriously, Amber, what the hell Neil! is going on? Amber, what the hell is going on? You wouldn't believe me if I told you! What the fuck? I saw fucking around! What the fuck is this shit? Hello? Neil? Carly? Carly, please don't go up what there! What the hell is going on? The doll. It's the line. Should you have to drink? Please. Please. It's going from downstairs. No! I said go! No! Carly! Neil? Neil, it's Diane. I've got the cash. What you got for me?
Where's Neil? I'm supposed to be meeting him here. Yeah, it's Carly's girlfriend. I think we're in the house. I'm in the house. Where are you? Got ya. In kids' room, right? How did you know that? Yeah, I can see you on the baby monitor. Who's there with you? My sister. Right, well, where's Neil? Is he the third person there? Carly, what is it? Games. If it's children I'm dealing with, I should just take my money elsewhere. Diane? Diane! We need to get out of here. Wait here, I need to get the cash. Carly, no! I got us into this mess. Wait here. Carly!
tea party. No! No! Your friends were scared of me. I had to silence them. I don't like the noises they make. Why is everyone so frightened of me? No one ever wants to be my friend. I want to be your friend. You do? That's why I took this job. Then why did you lie? <laughs> I didn't lie. You said your name was Jessie. You are a naughty babysitter. Okay. Uh, I lied because uh, I didn't want to um, scare you from, from what I've done in, in, in my past. My... I'm not scared of you, Amber. Now you're going to be my friends forever. so sorry. I told you. I told you to call me if she were to wake. Oh, Mandy, what have you done? Please, please, we, we won't tell anyone. She doesn't realise that what she's doing is bad. I've tried to change her ways. I've tried to change her ways every time. But after what happened, what the fuck is it going the children locked her in the church and left her there for a week. No one knew because the church was being repaired and froze to death in the church. The priest found her. I'm so sorry. How did you even get her? Mandy was passed down to my family from generation to generation. All of us knowing that her soul was still trapped inside the doll. Look in the bag. What bag? On the floor. Look what they were doing. No. No. Please, no. That's not what you think. Mr. <laughs> Ryan, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I let you into my house to look after Mandy, and you steal from me! Truly, Miss O'Brien, I'm so sorry. Miss O'Brien, truly. Please, please. We won't say anything, I promise. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You're not going anywhere now you know my secret. Mandy 
teach these girls some real discipline, could you? Let's get on with this, shall we? You're going to be like Mandy's friend soon. She wants to keep you.
you think you're going to be happy here? Yeah. Look at all this farmland. All these animals you can take care of. It's going to be great. It's beautiful. This is going to be a new start for both of us. I think it's what we need, don't you? Yeah, it'd be good to have a fresh outlook on life. Look, losing a baby is very difficult. We'll get you through it. And just remember that you're my baby. And I want to look after you. Thanks, Mum. everything back to what's happened. It's a new start. Leaving the past behind, remember? Yeah. And this, I hope you didn't get her anything like this. <laughs> this is ghastly. Look at it. Where's Grandad got that? I don't know. He used to give dolls out, I think, when we were younger, but I don't remember this one. It's creepy. <laughs> yeah. Best place for this. <laughs> The best place for this is the bin. Come on, let's go and look somewhere else. I think you need to get this door sorted.
he's found a new home now. Ha <laughs> ha